Right, good afternoon, good evening and good morning to all you dudes and dudettes out there in the gaming world. It's Lady Sinister coming to you with another commentary. Um, I like to apologise for the fact that they are nasal, but it is summer, I have hay fever, tablets don't work, what can you do, but we soldier on. I just want to say, at the beginning of this video, the gameplay you see is Blammer, he's my husband, um, he plays with me occasionally, but, um, and he's actually playing with me in this gameplay. Um, I'm trying to get him to do a commentary, and as he rages like a bitch on the mic, so if you want to hear him rage like a bitch, you guys need to help me by writing in the comment section, we want to hear Blammer rage like a bitch. And I will record him when we are playing in the lobby and you'll be able to hear him. Um, we are playing um, some hardcore team deathmatch on Black Ops. I'm on the map WMD. I'm using the FAMOS with sleight of hand scavenger and hacker because like I said before, I'm blind and I need help seeing all those claymores. I mean, we all know in Black Ops, there are claymores everywhere. Every door that you go through, every stair that you go down, every corner you turn, there are claymores galore. Right, um, I'm also using Flashbang, Semtex, and claymores myself. <laughs> right, um, and talking about Black Ops, um, I want to say that Blammer is actually playing with me in this gameplay. He is Lady Sinister point two, um, and it, I love the fact that on um, Black Ops 2 you can sign into your own network when you split screen, whereas on Black Ops you can't, as we all know. Right, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about the differences between, in my opinion, Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Now, to me, the graphics are a lot sharper in Black Ops 2. I think the colours pop, the graphics just seem to be sharper to me. Um, and if you are a rusher, I think Black Ops 2 is the game for you. Because in Black Ops, when you walk into a room, there are generally three entrances and there's a ghost bitch in the corner. So if you are a rusher, I would suggest being on Black Ops 2 because the maps are smaller and they're more faster paced. But the problem with Black Ops 2 is snipers rule supreme. On Black Ops, you do have an option to snipe. There are places to snipe. But generally, you can be running around and the assault rifles actually rain. Whereas in Black Ops 2, snipers rain. I mean, I was in a lobby and I saw a guy using a sniper with an iron sight running around like it was a shotgun. And it was absolutely ridiculous because the snipers are so OP, it is unbelievable. And it seems like even on Nuketown, a Nuketown 2025 versus Nuketown, I mean in Nuketown 2025 you can lay in the garden or you can be in the garage and you can snipe straight across the map. Like people don't even have a chance to get out their spawns like place. Whereas on Black Ops, you have a chance you have half a chance against a sniper. Um, you generally are able to see where their spots are. There's only specific spots that they can be at. And they can't snipe across the map. And that's the other thing. I mean, at Black Ops, you will see in this gameplay, I get spawned straight in front of this guy who shoots me straight away. Whereas in Black Ops 2, there are specific places where you spawn. So it's quite easy for someone to spawn like spawn camp they just sit in the spawning area they just wait for all their other team mates to rush down the other end of the map so that the other teams um, spawn where they are and they just sit there picking people off as they spawn I would like to see you know in Ghost being able to spawn in different places and you know to be spawn killed not, not to happen so much um, I also believe it is actually harder, I mean I know I was complaining about the ghost bitches who sit in corner, 
But I actually think it's harder to camp for Black Ops because, like I said, there are like three, uh, three or four entrances to a room wherever you camp. So you are bound to be able. You've got half a chance against the camp up. And where the maps are so big, you are kind of forced to have to move. Because if every team member on both teams just sat in a corner camping, then you wouldn't just get anywhere. There would be no of the would get any kills. Whereas on Black Ops 2, it seems because the maps are smaller, they're more faster paced, someone can camp in a corner and quite easily get a very high K to D rate. Um, <coughs> so that's my view between the two. Um, I can't actually say which I which I prefer better. I mean, I I like um, I like bits in Black Ops. I like bits in Black Ops too. Um, I'm hoping that Activision actually listens. I think it's here that I get spawn killed. Ridiculous. Um, I actually hope that Activision actually listens to the consumer and is able to change things in ghosts. You know, not, you know, not have so, don't give tools like the tacking sets to boosters. Um, maybe even do something about boosters. Do it when you report boosters that something actually happens to them. I mean, Activision maintain that you, you only have to report them once and, and they get, you know, investigated. I don't see that happening. But there you go. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see that anything happens to boosters. And um, I hope that Ghost is is different. I'm not holding out any hope. Um, I might actually play some more Black Ops 2 when Ghost comes out because hopefully everybody will jump over to there. All those boosters and everything else will jump over to there and Black Ops will come a good game. Let me know what you think are the pros and cons of Black Ops and Black Ops 2. And which do you prefer playing? Hit me up in that comment section. You know, the game is coming to a close. I go 20 to 3 in this game. Thank you for watching.